So the internet has been speculating that JT from the City Girls is pregnant and the rumor might be true because recently she took a picture and was wearing a morning sickness bracelet. She looked like she possibly could be in her first trimester because last night she performed with Young Miami and when she came out, she was giving very much belly. And if you don't know, she's in a relationship with little Uzi Vert and he's been dropping hints. I think he's excited. I think he wants to tell the world, but she wants to keep it very low key. I think she doesn't want to put it out there as of yet. She just want to wait a little bit, enjoy her time privately and then probably tell the world. Who knows? Now over the week, and Bianca and Damien got into a bad car accident. Bianca was driving. She said she hit her nose and her head on the wheel. She had to go to the hospital. All of this was being discussed on live, which a lot of people were saying, get off live, call 911, so they could come and take her to the hospital. And for some reason, he stayed on live. He started showing the accident, what happened, which it did look like a bad accident. She got hit from behind. The person looked like they rammed into her, but he was on live and he was explaining everything. And a lot of people were like, get off live, tend to your wife. And he even commented under this shade room he comment why go live why are you commenting if you don't like my decision just keep strolling or just send a prayer then other people were saying that the accident didn't look as bad as they were making it but she posted up her actual car by itself because you saw the jeep into the mercedes so you didn't really get to see the glimpse of how bad it was so she showed a picture and she said but y'all say it was just a small bump look at my car i hope bianca and damien is all right because sometimes when you go through an accident you don't feel certain things until the next day so right there they possibly could have looked all right and then the next day they probably could have felt things they didn't feel when it first happened so I just hope everything is all right as far as the person that actually hit her he rammed into her so more than likely he has to cover majority of the damages probably 100% of the damages uh his insurance will cover but prayers go out to them real quick I wanted to say congratulations to Damien's father he's engaged again he's been dating this girl for like a couple of months and they got engaged pretty much what he said was he's 60 years old he know what he wants and he doesn't want to waste any time so I'm gonna keep y'all up on this story because we already know how Damien's prior relationship turned out so hopefully this one worked cross fingers but I will definitely Definitely keep you updated. Let's talk about Kayla Nicole because she's back on Instagram and she revealed that she has a deal with Snapchat to release 12 episodes of her everyday life. Now the first episode was released on Saturday. It was about Kayla Nicole and her husband working together to keep everything going smooth until Kayla mom pops up and she says she wants to stay temporarily to help Kayla with a baby. Now y'all know Kayla and her mom kind of clash and they don't have the best relationship in the world but they try to make things work and they go through a little obstacle. So you'll start to see that throughout the episodes. It seemed like it's good so far. The second episode comes out tomorrow, so I'm excited for that. I'll leave the link down below. But a lot of people were shocked to see Ty in some of the episodes. You see a couple of appearances where she pops up in and out. She's not really in there consistently, but you can see her pop in and out of a couple of episodes. Keep in mind that this was pre-recorded when they were on good terms. So I'm pretty sure that they have a deadline and they have to get things out. So you really can't cut in between certain things because Ty really plays a big part in her life during that time because they came out with bundles. So you will see her. Now, in my previous video, supporters were upset about my video about Queen Sister Tina getting a tattoo of her nephew's names on her wrist. Even though I really didn't voice my opinion as much in that video, a lot of y'all felt like certain things that I did say, it seemed like I had a problem with her getting the tattoo. I don't have a problem with her getting the tattoo. It's a nice gesture, but how do we erase everything that happened before and be like, oh, okay, and focus on the positive when it was so much negativity that happened. Like you've done so much in the last couple of months. But Tina recently made a video on her channel responded to Shamiga and Royalty World who made a video speaking on the tattoo. Here's what they had to say. She's suffering a certain type of pain. Exactly. I just feel as though she should have just called her. You know? And, you know, and, and this is the thing. You but know, that's the problem though. though. You know, she said the, that's the problem. It's always with me. I should have just called her. But what about me? The phone works both ways. It does. And all of this what does this have to do with my tattoo, my nephews, it's my arm? Why are y'all making a big deal? Because none of y'all would be doing this in my face. None of y'all would be telling me I just feel like she, none of y'all would be doing that. Y'all would be quiet. So why, why is there all this big energy now, right? Because like y'all like everybody else, y'all say what y'all say behind the screen and feel like can't nobody get to y'all. I'm tired of it. Y'all irritating. It's my arm, it's my nephews. Those are my nephews. It don't matter what me and my sister got going through at the end of the day. Those are my nephews. Simple. And I got a tattoo to, to remind myself of, you know, I don't really see them like that, but I, I got a tattoo. Why does it have to be a gesture? I don't kiss tail. Maybe y'all do, but that's not how I operate. I don't regret anything that I said. 
Those are those are my nephews. I shouldn't have to explain why I got them tattooed on my arm. And yes, I turned off my comments so I can enjoy my posts. Everybody posts what they want. They post their brand new shoes. They post brand new cars. They post uh little stuff that they did and stuff like that. But when it comes to me, I have to have an explanation. It has to be a gesture. No. That is not how this, that's not how I operate. Sitting in the video, I mean, don't, don't nobody really know them. I mean, I know Neek's last girlfriend or whatever. I wonder where she went. But I mean, hey. We broke up like you and your last girlfriend. But when that boyfriend gonna pop out, so? When that boyfriend gonna pop out? Because you not gay no more. She ain't gay. Take it off me. It don't belong to me. I ain't gay no more. Where that shit at? Where your man at, Tina? God, you took this video way too serious. Where's your man? I can't wait to see him. Y'all standing beside each other and shit. Both of y'all dressed alike. Period. He dressed like the boy. You dressed like the boy. I can't wait to see you with your new nigga. I can't. Now, Queen tweeted after all of this drama was released. She says some people put so much energy into hating you that they have no energy left to love themselves. Pray for those people. I agree 100%. Let's talk about King Sid. Recently, he did a video with his ex Brie, and they're not back together yet, but it looks like Brie is working hard to get her man back. No. No. My baby girl, I see you. That's how you do it. I see you. I see you, baby girl. Uh, comment down below would you be excited to see this couple back together let's play a game let me give away some money if you had the power to put a couple back together which couple would it be it just doesn't have to be king sid and brie if you don't want to pick them you don't have to pick them now on the screen you see several couples and let me know which one you would want to put back together and comment your cash app i'm picking three random people here's brie's alive she explains why her and king sid broke up and she talks about some other things that had to do with her and king sid leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking until next time peace jason did not grow out of the relationship what happened is we were very toxic and we started fighting a lot because of like video ideas and stuff but he wasn't able to like work on youtube like he could have if he was single as you guys can see he's been doing great because we were just always fighting and he was like so focused on me and the relationship and i don't blame him Imagine having getting pregnant by Jason and then falling out. Y'all, I think about that all the time. Oh my what? gosh. No. I would have died. We were safe. What's the most toxic thing he did and the most toxic thing you did? That boy is crazy, but I am crazier. We match each other. I think that's why we're so good. I honestly never saw that girl ever as competition. I don't even want to speak on it. People just take things and like make it so negative, but... It is very annoying constantly, like since I got with Jason, being compared to one person that I was never worried or concerned about. To me, I don't see a comparison, but <laughs> sip my water. <laughs> Want some <of> this? <laughs> Cheers. You <laughs> threw a hanger at him, did I? <laughs> I threw a lot at that point. <laughs> yes, I will always have love for Jason. Because when we were good, it was so much fun. Ah! Hey, Stink. Why are you on here? <laughs> I'm talking shit. <laughs> Hi, guys. Damn, it's cold. I wasn't saying anything about Just that I'm happy that he's living his bestest life. Girl, I'm not being a hater, but you get compared to one person for an entire year, and I think you would feel the same way as me. And when you don't see a comparison, it just is what it is. It's like, it's the personality for me, mine. I was already in a Let's Do It Raw video, okay? No, it wasn't weird. They're friends. It wasn't weird. Like, you guys don't know what things are off camera.
I'm 23. I just thought everyone knew that. January 19th.